what they call comprehensive sex ed, which the left so badly wants to have even in kindergarten. And if you take it out of kindergarten, as we saw in Florida, they react, they have a nuclear meltdown. That all starts with, uh, with Alfred Kinsey. When was it decided that we need to start teaching kids about this stuff at such a young age? So I'll answer that with one word, Kinsey. Kinsey was a social reformer. He wanted to rid society of Judeo-Christian values when it came to sexuality. And he worked very hard to do that, and I would say he succeeded. Kinsey would be very happy with our culture today. His idea was that children are sexual from birth, that we're all inherently sexual creatures from cradle to grave. He believed that true happiness is found in a life of perverse sexual experimentation, no matter the age. What came out is that his research was fraudulent. Kinsey based his fraudulent conclusions on data he collected from convicted sex offenders and child molesters. His research was conducted in prisons, not everyday America. He also performed horrific sexual experiments on children, some under the age of one. His most influential book, Sexual Behavior in the Human Male, contains an infamous chart called Table 34, which documents the orgasms of very young kids, including babies as young as five months old. But instead of suffering the consequences for his heinous actions, he was and still is celebrated by academia and Hollywood. His ideas form the foundation for sexual education in public schools today. I, I, there were so many powerful moments, but as soon as I saw that, I was like, holy cow. And, and I kept like, oh, this is gonna be responded to from a biblical perspective by the end of this. But any, what, what left out or what more is there to say about Kinsey and money? Uh, well, they, there's, there's a lot more to be said about these individual guys um, because like we've been saying, this is, you know, this is a 90 minute film trying to accomplish a particular thing, but we can't neglect the history of gender ideology, I don't think. It's, imp it's, an, it's an important context for people to understand. One of the big things we want pe people to take away from this is to just understand a little bit of what this thing is. And if you want to understand what it is, you've got to understand some of the history of it. Um, but the, the main thing you want to take away from, from Kinsey and Money, you could go, their books have been written about them, there have been documentaries on them. You've got to be careful for any of that stuff because there's a lot of propaganda in favor of them, so you've got to find the right stuff. But um, these guys, I think the most important thing to understand about both of them is that they were very intently focused, both of them, on kids. You know, they wanted, we just heard about, about uh, Kinsey. He, he very much wanted to sexualize kids. He believed that kids were sexual beings. And so we see this stuff today, the groomer uh, trend today, it didn't start today. It was, all, it was designed this way. I mean, uh, what they call comprehensive sex ed, which the left so badly wants to have even in kindergarten. And if you take it out of kindergarten, as we saw in Florida, they react, they have a nuclear meltdown. That all starts with, uh, with Alfred Kinsey. He invented it. And gender ideology was literally invented by John Money. The idea of gender identity is a term coined by John Money, who uh, both of these guys were quacks, abusers, child abusers. Um, but it also didn't start just with them. We bring in, on, in the film, we talked to uh, Carl Truman, and who, who is a minister, by the way, and uh, he wrote a book called um, The Rise and Triumph of the Modern Self, which is a great book. I'd recommend everybody watch it, read it rather. And he gets into the history of gender ideology, but he traces it much further back. He goes back into the 19th and 18th century, uh, into its philosophical roots. Um, so it kind of depends. If you want to trace the root of any evil, you could kind of go back as far as you want. You could go all the way back to the fall of man, if you want. Um, but you have to, you know, there are certain landmarks along the way. And uh, I think that in the mid 20th century with these guys is one landmark moment where gender ideology started to take its current form around that time, thanks in large part to these guys.